Hey everybody, this is Will with Carolina Thread Place. We are moving on to the second step of the kitty design. It's called Kitty V or Kitty V or something like that. So we've already finished sewing out the first one and we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. So let's get rid of these. And then we go here and we're going to choose two. Two is for me. I went in and labeled them one, two, three, four. Um, but this is body side B. So we now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the hoop out of this, out of this. Yes, we are going to remove the hoop. Hoop stabilizer and one square of brown fabric right side up. Clip all, oh, I'm sorry. We're gonna clip all of the jump stitches. <clears throat> so we trimmed all the jump stitches. So we're going to remove from hoop and remove stabilizer. So we actually should have used um, tear away. Stabilizer versus the um, one I'm using. So I am going to be doing the rest of this with tear away stabilizer. So, <clears throat> actually, let me use my duck bill. applique scissors so there we go we're pretty close So, So, I actually accidentally cut some of this off whenever I was doing it, but it's okay. We have a little bit cleaner, but we're actually going to be cutting in this area here. So, before I continue, let's switch out <clears throat> to...
tear away stabilizer. So the first thing we're going to do is hoop. <clears throat> and just lay out. We're moving it up. We're good. So the first thing we're gonna do after that, this isn't the first thing we're gonna do, is we're going to put some brown down. The first is a tack down. So, and I'm floating this. It's totally up to you. If you wanna float it, use needles, what have you. All right, so the first embroidery color that we're gonna use is black. I already have it in, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we are done with this part. I need my scissors <clears throat> because we need to cut these jump stitches. <clears throat> and this is our first thread change. Second step is for the paw print. We finished that. Third step is the cutting lines for the head spike detail. Brown embroidery thread recommended. So we're going to sew out this part here. So here you can switch the thread to whatever color you want. 
Um, I'm leaving it this color um, just because. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the hoop, but we're not going to unhoop it. Because we have this beautiful line guide right here, we are now going to take this one and we're going to put the nice sides together and we're going to line up and this is why I did I forgot to pin them to or put them together or move the hoop up a little bit <clears throat> which I should have. Okay, so we are all together. Everything is good. So let's finish the body. Please excuse my machine. For some reason, it's not like in the brown right now. So, let's do this. <clears throat> so, we're actually going to go back a couple... So we're going to remove the pins. We're also going to remove the hoop. And we're going to remove the stabilizer. This is why we should have used tear away from the get go.
So all I'm doing now is removing the stabilizer. Not the best thing, but it'll be fine. Oh, yeah, this scissors. So, there we go. We are done. And then all we need to do now is cut it out. Because remember, we needed we needed this right here for later. And all I'm doing is doing a quick trim around. Here. So, there we have it. And the last step before we are done with this video for today... Is we're going to pull this up like this grab it right here and just a real quick trim here so we now have a hole And now we are going to turn it right side out. Y'all know I struggle with this.
So we have a little finger puppet now. So what do we do? We get something to push out the feet. So the bottom looks like this. And the top looks like this. So he's going to be sitting like that. So the first video is almost done. Let's get some polyfill real quick. And I have no idea where I threw it. I actually, I do. <clears throat> As my arm knocks over my water bottle. And this is how I do it. I'll take this and and push it into. the legs Because this will actually allow me to push some of the polyfill into the paws. So, there we go. And there we have it. We have the first part of him finished. So, be sure to like this video if you haven't done so. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so either. And let us know in the comments below what you think so far. And are you having fun with this project? And today's letter is the letter K. As in kite, the letter K. So we will see you tomorrow as we continue on this project. Until then, I will see you later. Bye.